How's it going, YouTubers? Got uh, some tedious projects I'm working on today. <clears throat> I am mounting this thermostat to this box, and Willow went through and spaced out all of these switches that in turn will uh, activate 12 volt relays for different things like a pump, the Ever Spotcher, um, stuff like that. Also did a little bit of uh, research on the Eber Spotcher. Share that with you guys. GM, in their infinite wisdom, since they don't like people working on their own vehicles, see the yellow wires there, the yellow with the black stripe, and the other two yellows? Those are CAN bus signals. If the ECU in this heater doesn't receive the correct CAN bus signals, it will never turn on. So, there's a couple of options. If you know Ar Arduino or Arduino and you like to program, you could teach yourself CAN bus and you have to make sure the parameters that are being sent to the heater are less than 39 degrees Fahrenheit ambient temperature and your altitude is less than 4,500 feet. Those two parameters are in place, the heater will actually start up and work. Me, on the other hand, I purchased a ECU that's more open source that will bolt right onto this and it has the correct wires and whatnot. And the only thing I'll have to do is pigtail out a coolant pump from the housing right here. So I already have it, it's in the house. Um, this will be featured in an upcoming episode. So, back to what I was originally saying. I'd like to get this box set up, um, get this thermostat mounted like right here, and get it mounted in the shelter. And I've got a cable to pull up for the pump to the uh, water tank. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was my neighbor. He was saying somebody vandalized uh, our yard here. All these uh, street markings are actually a good thing. Um, I want to give a little shout out. Um, if you don't get it through me, get it through somebody else. But get yourself a Legal Shield membership. This stupid box, this CenturyLink box, has been sitting in the, you know, at the end of our driveway forever since we moved in. And come to find out, uh, when a law firm did some research that. Uh, no permit was ever pulled for this, so the county got involved and the law firm got involved and lo and behold, look what's happening. Uh, the box is going to be moved and they're actually doing, uh, it benefited us another way where the law firm worked with the county and they're doing an upgrade to our property uh, at no cost to us. None of this costs us anything. In fact, um, they're going to give us a thousand bucks just for the headache of not being able to use our driveway for a couple days. They're going to extend the driveway out to a sidewalk out here. There's going to be a uh, pedestrian crosswalk. Um, this is all good stuff for the community. So anyhow, this whole hedge and everything will be ripped out. But beyond that, um, I want to kind of clean this area up. I don't know where I'm going to mount that box. Maybe right here would be a good position for it. But I just want to get it in here somewhere. And then... Uh, Maybe put these switches in there. I'm sh I'm not sure. This thermostat is in Celsius. I might swap that out. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna start working on that. We'll see how far we get. <coughs> okay, guys. Got the box mounted. I took the uh, fan directional control off the wall. I'm gonna seal all those up. And then I mounted the um, speed control right here. Should be pretty nice. Took my little voltmeter off. Was mounted up here on the wall. Took that off. I'm gonna mount that on the front of the box here. That'll look pretty sweet. Um, I'm running out of relays, so I'll have to order more of those, but my goal basically is to get uh, the water pump wired in today and the um, thermostat wired to the fans so 
we'll see how that goes got to punch a hole right now I think the best spots gonna be right here you could punch about a one inch hole run some PVC down to the bed to protect the wires then we're ready to start uh, doing some terminations all right guys I got the uh, penetration made got the PVC set up and ran in there got the uh, Wiring ran up for low voltage. That's for the pump. Show you what we got going on in here. I'm just down to terminations now. I got everything all buttoned up. Got the AC on in here. It's pretty warm out, so that's where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna just basically go through and clean all this up. This wire coming out from the penetration is uh, the pump wire. You need to wire that into a relay. This is the speed and direction control for the exhaust fans. Uh, I'm going to wire the fans into the thermostat right here. And uh, I pulled this up off the internet. It describes all of the terminations on a uh, thermostat. The one that I got, the relays are controlled by uh, the batteries inside, so it doesn't matter what your common voltage is, you can just run it through it. Uh, on the reviews, a lot of people run these, this exact thermostat in their RV, so it should work just fine. Uh, I'm going to get to it. This is going to take me a little while. As you can see, I've got tons of terminations and shrink wrap and all kinds of stuff to uh, deal with. It's like they had a baseball game or something going on tonight, soccer game. The school across the street, anyhow. Whew, this turned out really good. I still got <laughs> I still got a cleanup to do, but um I'm really happy with how this turned out. Got the thermostat, the fan speed. Thermostat actually works too, check this out. When I turn the fan on, the little relays inside. This thermostat was 15 bucks. It's just, and there's so many different outputs you can use it for. So I'm going to use it for both the uh, fans and the Eber to get, uh So it'll basically, the fans will be for the cooling part or exhaust part, and then the um, uh, the heating side of things. I'll wire into the Eber But uh, I've got all these extra switches on here. Um, this one right here is, is on the pump. I'll show you. See, got no water pressure and water pressure. So that works pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is just put a bunch of relays across the back here. As you can see, I've already got a couple up. This one is for the um, pump. This one's for the fans. Um, this is to change the fan's direction. Right now it's exhausting, so it's pushing out. Um, thermostat wire, remember I told you about that 18.7 in the last episode? That's what this is for right here. So now I can wire up a bunch of different things to these um, relays that are inside this little $15 thermostat. Uh, everything is fused through the new fuse panel. I've got to get uh, more labels made for the uh, panel cover. And then these are just some wire labels and the thermostat instructions. And I do have some extra relays to go in there if I want to set it up for something else. Uh, aside from that, I think that's going to be it. And yes, this does close. I've tested it. It'll look pretty slick closed like that. So I think I'm going to cut the episode off right here, guys. All I've got left to do is a little bit of cleanup. Um, don't know when the next episode will be, but I think think it's going to be geared towards the ever spotcher i'm hoping i'll have an episode coming up here soon and i'll talk quite a bit about that so all right guys i'll catch you next time see you later bye bye